Hello and welcome to the episode 354 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today we have a wedding gig, more work on when I'm 64, and John Lennon meeting Marshall McLuhan, among other things. Let's start with a quarryman gig happened on the 20th of December 1958. George Harrison, John Lennon and Paul McCartney, the only remaining members of the band, performed at Harry Harrison's wedding reception. Harry was the brother of George and the event took place in Speak, a Liverpool suburb. Three years down the line, in 1961, the Beatles, featuring Pete Best on drums, George Harrison and John Lennon on guitar and voice, and Paul McCartney on bass, performed an evening concert at a Cavern Club in Liverpool. 1962, the Beatles, now with Ringo Starr on drums, performed another night at a Star Club in Hamburg, West Germany, for the continuation of their fifth residency in town. Fast forward to the 20th of December 1966. For a start, in order to dispel rumors about the band's demise, the Beatles accepted to be interviewed outside the EMI studios in Abbey Road before the start of their evening recording session. Each Beatle was interviewed separately for ITV's Reporting 66 series. All of them denied that the Beatles were splitting up, and John, Paul and Ringo offered hints of what was going to happen in 1967. The interviews were compiled, along with footage from the band's last North American tour, and interviews with fans for a 25-minute episode called End of Beatlemania. The real work for the Fabs started at 7 pm, though, with the continuation of the recording of When I'm 64. Until 1 am, Paul, George, and John overdubbed backing vocals to the rhythm track, while Ringo added bells and chimes. The resulting track was reduced twice, freeing two tracks for further overdubs and becoming take four. 1969. John Lennon was at the Department of Culture and Technology at the University of Toronto in Toronto, Ontario, in the office of Marshall McLuhan, author of the famous book The Medium is the Message. The two chatted on film for about 45 minutes. The film was never released in any format. After the chat with McLuhan, John was also filmed for a five-minute interview, talking about how his peace campaign would affect his artistic output and about the different reactions to the last campaign around the world. Finally, John went to the Toronto CBC TV's studios, appearing live on CBC Weekend with his wife Yoko, between 10.15 and 11.15 pm. The couple was interviewed by host Lloyd Robertson about current events, returning again on their peace campaign and possible further engagements in Canada. One more thing before I close the show. If you enjoyed my work so far, please visit www.simonmas.com support and do something to help me to keep producing music-related content for you. On that page, you'll also find out how you can acquire the NFTs with the deluxe version of the podcast. Thank you, and see you tomorrow for more Beatles love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.